Go. Hello everyone, welcome back to this channel. In this video and the following video, we're going to explore the electrical components of IGCSE physics. And in this video alone, we're going to focus on static electricity. And static electricity is the result of an imbalance between negative and positive charges in an object. But first and foremost, how do we create an imbalance charges in an object? And one way to do this is via friction. When, for instance, you rub a plastic object with a cloth. So what happens here is that when this action is performed, the electric electrons is going to flow from the cloth to the plastic rod. And when the cloth is then brought close to the rod, the rod will move towards the cloth. And this is called attraction. And on, if you were to wrap another cloth with, um, wrap another plastic rod with a cloth, and then bring this two um, plastic rod together, which they both have electrons, you, you are going to see both rod move away from each other. And this is called repulsion. And what is happening here um, is that we have, we say that there is static electricity here, an imbalance of charges in an object. So another way you can demonstrate static electricity is when to rub your hair with balloon because the electrons from your hair is going to move from your hair to the balloon. And then because now your hair has loses electron, therefore it is positively charged. And for the balloon, it has gained electrons, therefore it is negatively charged. So your hair will be attracted to the balloon. And in other words, we have created an attraction between your balloon and also your hair. So before we discuss how does this thing happen, we do need to understand how an atom is like. So if we know that every atom, there is nucleus. And inside this nucleus, we have neutrons, we have protons, and we have also have electrons surrounding the nucleus. And the positive charge and negative charges in an atom are equal so that this atom has no electric charge. We say that it's a non-neutral atom. And what happens when you rub a plastic rod with a cloth is that it causes two objects to be to have imbalanced charge, meaning the number of protons and electrons will no longer be the same. So as for the cloth, because it loses electrons, it will be positively charged because now the proton number is greater than the electron number. Whereas the plastic rod will now be negatively charged because it has gained electrons. So that's all about static electricity. And for, to understand electricity better, you also need to understand between what is the difference between conductor and insulator. Conductors are some substance that allows the flow of electrons, all right, like matter, gold, copper, whereas insulator is those that inhibits the flow of electrons, like glass, plastic, and amber. So charge can move through conductors and not insulator. And one reason for this is because the electrons are tightly bound in an atom of an insulator, so they cannot flow quite freely like the electrons in a conductor. So here's um, another concept you need to know for this chapter, it's called electric field, a region of space in which an electric charge will experience a force. We know that we have positively charged atom and negatively charged atom. Just know that for there is a line of force around these charges. This is why your hair is attracted to the balloon instead of the balloon attracted to the air because um, the hair has posit is positively charged and it moves towards the negatively charged object. So whereas for the negative, it, the force line of forces is coming into the negatively charged atom. So if you were to put two like charge together, you are going to have repulsion just like how you put the two uh, plastic rod together. And whereas if you have a positively charged atom to, um, to be with a negatively charged atom, it's gonna have attraction, just like the magnetic field that we learned in the last chapter. Whereas north attracts to south and north will repel north. I mean, the same, the like pose. But do know that magnetic field and electric field are not the same. So if let's say you have two parallel plates, this is the electric field line that you should draw from the negative, from the positive plate to the negative plate. And for charged particles, it's measured in terms of column, column named after the scientist, Charles Augustus Dunn column. 
He discovered that the force, meaning attraction or repulsion, between two charged objects depends on how big the charges is, and how he quantified these charges is that he used the unit column. And for one electron, it is worth negative 1.6 times 10 to the power of negative 19 C, and proton is the same value but in positive form. And knowing this is important in and as it helps us to understand electrical quantity in the next chapter. But for now, just know that this is the number that is used to represent electrons and protons. So let's do some positive questions to understand what other types of questions that will be asked. First, what is the definition of an electric field? An electric field is which an electric charge experiences a force. The force could be an attraction or repulsion. So that's donkey. And next up, which of the diagram below shows the correct electric field pattern. We know that the line of force will come out from the positive plate to the negative plates. So it's not like that, it's not like that, whereas it's more like that, like B here. From positive plate all the way to negative plate. So our answer is B. So a PVC rod is wrapped with a nylon cloth, very similar to what we just discussed. The process causes electrons to be transferred, causing both objects to be in charge. So which of the row correctly give the nature of the charge on both clothes and the effect of the object have on each other? We know that um, in this scenario, the electrons from the nylon cloth is probably going to transfer to the PVC cloth, which causes the cloth to have a positive charge, um, which causes PVC to have negative charge. And so we know that the charges on the rod and cloth is going to be opposite of each other. And then the effect of it, because it's opposite charges, it will attract. Therefore, my answer here should be donkey. All right. So last question. A student wrapped a polystyrene rope with a cloth, giving it a negative charge. She then hold it near. So this is the polystyrene rope, conducting sphere as shown in the diagram. Which of the diagrams show correct distribution of the charges? So now this rod has negative charge. We know that negative charge will attract positive charge. So what we see here among the four diagram, D has the most logical representation. You can see that positive charges here are being attracted. So if you look at B instead, they are not really attracted. So the correct answer is D for donkey. And that's the all about this chapter. It's a relatively short video. And in the next video, we are going to talk more about um, what are the electrical quantities that we use day to day. Um, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.